So, you've just picked up Fallout 76, and you're preparing to jump into yet another post-apocalyptic adventure, but you found out, far too late, that it's an MMORPG, a massively multiplayer online role-playing game. And you're thinking, wait a second, is this something new? An online Fallout game? Is this real? Fallout 76 was released way back in 2018, and it quickly became one of the worst rated games in the history of the franchise. While it has recovered by a considerable distance today, it's still far from being perfect, and for some, the multiplayer aspect of the game is a deal breaker. But does that mean you're totally unable to play Fallout 76 as a solo player? Is Fallout 76 single player in any respect whatsoever? At the heart of Fallout 76 sits the ability to explore the post-apocalyptic wasteland with friends, or with random strangers that you meet and just throw out some emotes to. It's a never before seen concept in the Fallout universe and as a life service game it promotes constant updates, microtransactions, a premium subscription, cosmetics and an ever changing world to some extent. If you've never played Fallout 76 before or even know what it's all about then you'll be left out in the cold and totally unaware of the fact that it's all online all of the time. With that being said, can you effectively play Fallout 76 as a single player title? For the most part, yes, you actually can make Fallout 76 a single player game. From the moment you enter Appalachia, you're not forced to team up with other players in any way, shape or form. Later in the game, there are some difficult situations that may require assistance from more talented players, but they're few and far between. And for the majority of your time in Fallout 76, you can roam the wasteland on your lonesome. There are a few inescapable multiplayer moments though. If you're taking part in the periodic public events that pop up, you can expect to run into other players. They're typically there to mind their own business and get the challenge completed, but they will be there, which essentially scrubs away that single player aspect. There's a kind of economy in the game which enables players to trade with other players, which again removes the solo aspect. Also, there's the ability for players to build camps, which you'll see dotted around the landscape as you explore. Aside from those key points there, you really are free to complete a slew of main missions, side quests, daily tasks and challenges, and generally uncover the entire map from end to end without interacting directly with any other players. Of course, you can take things one step further and totally remove other players from the world, but you'll need to subscribe to Fallout first. With this optional premium subscription, players unlock the ability to load into a private world, of which they are the sole occupant, unless they want to invite in their friends, of course. In the private world, everything remains exactly the same and progress from the public world syncs up accordingly, but the main difference is there are no other players. It is worth establishing though at this point that there is very little griefing that takes place in Fallout 76, and for the most part, fellow explorers are actually quite welcoming. So, while Fallout 76 isn't a single player game, you can still play solo, and that's just fine. If you've enjoyed this video, please feel free to subscribe and hang around for more Fallout and gaming content.